Tonight, the first round of the Midnight Madness started up at the Victoria U Sports Complex. 25 News Now sports reporter Ray Robinson is at the complex to discuss what is going on. Midnight Madness is underway for these young athletes. Preparations for this tournament went on earlier today. This is an overnight softball tournament for girls in divisions 8 to 14U. And right now they are in the middle of 16-minute pool games. And right now all of this action, you can find it here at Victoria Youth Sports Complex. And right now I got softball tournament director Ernest Gonzalez for Premier Prospects. So Ernest, how's everything going so far? So far everything's going good. The weather's holding up. The fields are holding up. Uh, great environment out here. I've uh, been doing this for six years, and uh, it's, it's been great. It, it's been it's been awesome. The hardest thing is staying awake. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Now, staying awake, what's, let's talk about what's at stake if they stay awake and win. What's at stake for these young ladies? Oh, these ladies get some nice awards, get some nice rings. They get some MVP uh, just at this thing stature is next year they'll come back and I have a couple teams here they've been playing six last six years with me and they win the awards and they get new awards every year oh great great and where can we keep up with this action because overnight everybody's gonna probably be going to sleep but where can we see this action uh with the results you can go to softball.playpps.com and look up Midnight Madness and you can follow the teams uh click on their age group and you can follow them see who they're playing and and when they advance into the next into the next round Thank you, Ernest. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now, let's go on to the real stars of the show. I got Miss Addie from MIS. Addie, are, how excited are you for tonight's tournament? I'm very excited tonight. Okay, great, great. Um, what is your game plan, you and your friend's game plan, for staying up all night for this tournament? This ain't a typical sleepover. <laughs> Sugar and energy drinks and to come on top. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank you once again, Addie. Yes, and make sure you stay tuned on KAVU. I'll have all the results for tomorrow's evening shows. This will all be here at Victoria, Victoria Sports Complex. Reporting live, Ray Robinson, KAVU 25 News Now Sports. Thanks, Ray, and wish all of them just luck there from your prospects there for today and tomorrow. But now over to a little bit more professional level, the Generals. They played their last away game in the regular season against the Brazos Valley Bombers. Generals, again, are up right now 10-5 in the top of the eighth inning. And Connor Clark, he had an RBI single, brought in Drew Schmidt, and made the Generals up 2-1. And they kept adding more insurance runs. An RBI triple was made by Jacob Sanchez. And to bring in Travis Bragg, he would score in the Generals. They just kept adding more and more runs. And hoping, obviously, to keep the score and win tonight and just keep their winning ways going into the postseason. A couple days ago, he ran a story about the Quero Select Club and them preparing for the 2024 TAF Summer Games down in Brownsville. But now it has been a couple days of competition. The track has got a couple results that we've kind of finalized. The boys' 3,000 meter run had 14 and under. Mason Tate got 18th place with a time of 3 minutes and 48 seconds. Then the girls' discus had both Brittany Hill and Aaliyah Ferris. They placed in top eight for discus. And also, Brittany Hill got 20 feet 7 inches in shot put. Again, the top eight qualify, but they're still making the city of Quero proud with all of their results. The Houston Astros, again, they won tonight over the Los Angeles Dodgers at Minute Maid Park. The score was 5 to nothing, and in the third inning, Alex Bregman hit a solo shot to left field and made the Astros get up 2 nothing. They would add, again, two more runs with a two-run blast by John Singleton. And, man, with this win tonight, the Astros, they're still atop of the AL West and are hoping to keep the lead with the number one ranking in the AL West. And also some news with the Astros. First round pick from Gregory Portland, Walker Yannick, officially signed his contract with the Astros. He entered the clubhouse for the first time at Minute Maid Park. His parents and Billy and Lucretia and his brother Will and girlfriend Colby Gonzalez watched him take first batting practice as professional ball player. Yannick said this is a dream come true and he hopes to make the city of Houston proud. That's all here in sports. Don, back to